The impact of the Boko Haram insurgency on Adamawa state was huge as it left death and destruction in its wake. Infrastructure including roads, bridges linking towns and villages in neighboring Borno and the Republic of Cameroon bore the brunt of the violence, making mobility a nightmare for commuters. A lot of work has gone into the repair of the bridges and this one in Michigan is ready to be commissioned. <laughs> Deputy Governor of Adamawa State, Crown the Seth, accompanied by officials of the NEDC, are welcomed at the Dilchin Bridge by leaders of the Michigan community. This is the only road, federal road, that links to Borno State, Meduguri, and it is a busy road. So with this now we believe it is going to ease the means of transportation and it will cushion the effect of hardship on the people. This is bridge number one of the project, it's at kilometer 26 plus 500. We have other two bridges at uh, Dilchim and Kuro Gandhi. The total length of the road from Marabamubi to Madagali is 90 kilometers. The total project cost is 14.74. The managing director, NEDC Mohammed Al Kali, calls on the contractor to hasten the completion of other bridges. It's a welcome intervention commended by the state government, even as the deputy governor of Adamo State, Father Seth, commends the commission for the intervention. With this bridge, a lot of things, most especially those things that are used to hinder the transportation of uh, goods from here to other neighboring countries it will come to an ease. We thank you very much. We are very grateful. And thank you, and thank you very much. Undoubtedly, the return of this bridge and the promise of others to follow will improve the quality of lives and add value to property and neighboring communities.